crystals for epic sex. Crystals have been used for millennia for everything from jewelry inserts to medicine and even currency. They've had an amazing resurgence of late as people are looking more and more towards natural, do-it-yourself, empowered ways to heal and up-level themselves. There's evidence in ancient writings of crystals being used in magic formulas and rituals. They had them in jewelry for healing and protection and power. And the healing philosophy behind crystals is that they contain a vibrational consciousness. Even Tesla said, in a crystal, we have the clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle. And though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Each crystal has its own unique energetic imprint and vibration, just like plants and flowers do, and just like we do. Everything in the universe does. Imagine if we lived on a planet where everything that grew here naturally was actually able to heal every conceivable ailment that we could possibly have from the physical to the emotional. Well, we do. <laughs> Over the centuries, all of this plant and crystal medicine wisdom has been documented by cultures in various places all over the world. And it's only in the past couple of centuries that we've had the rise of artificial patentable medicine that's done its damnedest to try and discredit any and all natural remedies as being hocus pocus, while at the same time stealing the molecular structure of the very such plants and remedies to make pharmaceutical versions of them. Crystals have wild, deep intelligence and consciousness, and they're in the category of vibrational medicine, just like flower essences. These are medicines that remind your body of a certain frequency of health when it's gone off top. If you're familiar with the work of the famed Japanese scientist, the genius, Dr. Masuro Emoto, then you've probably seen his experiments on how, <laughs> basically showing us the metaphysical principle that thoughts are things. So he did his experiments in a few different mediums. He used water, rice, plants, and I'm sure by now many other things as well. So one of the major things that he did was fill several jars of water from the same source and then he would have people direct thoughts towards them like one jar was love one was anger one was hatred another one was compassion and then he checked after a period of time the molecular structure of the water under a microscope at the end of the experiment so in the positive energy category of water there were these gorgeous crystalline snowflake like formations and in the negative energy type emotion thoughts, they were mutated and distorted looking. Since then, these experiments have been repeated all over the world, even with school children who would try it with bowls of rice and plants and even their sandwiches. <laughs> so they would project love, hate, and indifference over a period of several weeks to each item. And over and over again, the same results were shown. The love objects flourish, or at least they don't decay. And then the hatred items go moldy and they start to die. But interestingly, the indifference or the ignored items fare the worst and they get really, really moldy and they deteriorate the fastest. So there you go, those are the scientific effects of ghosting someone. Indifference kills. The vibrations and the energy of an object can influence its surroundings. In the plant and the crystal kingdoms, you have encapsulated qualities of the most powerful and noble expressions of humanity and spirit. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about three of the most potent crystals for sexual health and healing. First up is crokite, the libido booster. Isn't this a magnificent piece? Crokite is the most primal, passionate sexual stone on the planet. Why have I never heard of it, you ask? Um, because everyone is terrified of sex. <laughs> it really looks like this. It's this vibrant, rich, orangey red, and this is the color of the second chakra, the chakra of sex and creativity. Crokite is the crystal for reviving your libido and kickstarting your passion, both in bed and in all parts of your life where you might be lacking a particular <clears throat> and it brings new life into old relationships and supports transformation and the idea of a fresh start. It improves erectile issues. Look at all those erect rods in this piece. 
and it's also meant to increase sensitivity in the sexual organs themselves. Plus, it's meant to boost fertility as well. Second up is rhodochrosite, which is the most powerful crystal for healing issues of sexual abuse. That's its main job. And these specimens are extremely high quality that you're looking at right now, and they hail from a mine in Colorado called the Sweet Home Mine. Another epically beautiful crystal. And that color, it's actually my favorite color, which is magenta, which is pretty much this glittery, crystally piece that you're seeing right now on me. So rhodochrosite helps to clear deep trauma. It rebuilds a sense of self-love and self-worth, and it also helps you to see your own part in relationships. So where you might be projecting onto your partner or the people around you, it helps you to see where you need to take responsibility and own up to your part. The third crystal is best for harnessing sexual power and channeling that into creative energy, garnet and smoky quartz. So technically, these are two different crystals, but there's a special pocket in China where they actually grow symbiotically. And this is where I found this. Look at this thing. A giant smoky quartz cock with a smattering of garnet ejaculate all over it. So when I first saw this, I was like, that's mine. That's what I'm gonna make these remedies out of. And I figured that whenever crystals grow together, it's because they are marrying and amplifying the power of each other. On their own, each of these already has powerful sexual qualities and together, well, just look at them. So it's just this thing that's shooting orgasms and creativity far and wide all over the planet. Garnet is known in some circles as a master tantric stone for revving up the sexual appetite and tapping into your sexual energy as a creative and dharma-like force. And smoky quartz helps to ground you into your physical body and allow you to really inhabit that animal earthiness of your primal self. And it's also meant to be powerful at rebalancing the reproductive organs of both sexes and helps in restoring the fluid flow as well. How do you use your crystals? There are several ways. One, physically, you can keep it close to you, carry it with you, and even place it on or inside of you, just like you would with a jade yoni egg, into the body. You can cleanse the crystal by placing it into the sun, so we want to remove any kind of imprinting. It's picked up before it makes its way to you. Put it into the sunlight or the full moonlight or any moonlight or salt water, and then you charge it by placing your intentions into the crystal. The second way is to ingest the vibrational essence of the crystal orally taken as an elixir. So this is thought to be an even more powerful way to assimilate the energy of the crystal within you. So you can ingest the properties of these crystals and get even more benefit. And they're made in such a way that's called the indirect method, where the actual substance of the crystal isn't touching the water that you ingest. It's an energetic transfusion of that energy and vibration. So I created a whole set of crystal elixirs for every possible sexual issue. From libido, to erections, to father figure issues, to clearing the Madonna whore complex, to unlocking cervical orgasms in women. And if these crystals didn't have all the qualities that I thought were necessary, then I programmed them into them myself. So you can ingest and assimilate the properties of these crystals by taking them orally, and you can also have sex with them. So you can take your elixir and you can put seven drops of the elixir onto a glass dildo or another type of crystal dildo, and then insert that into you, and it's like, it'll change the property of that dildo for the next seven days into the elixir that you use. You can check out our entire range of Anami crystal elixirs at the Anami Alchemia online shop. And the link for that is below this video. For more bodacious life, love, and weekly orgasmic enlightenment, subscribe.